Hey guys, Miss Rogers here. Today we're going to talk about adding decimals and fractions. Okay, so we have done in a math class, we've added just decimals and we've added just fractions. In today's video, we're going to do a problem where we have decimals and fractions in the same problem and we're going to have to add them to get the answer. Okay, so there are three rules that I like to think of when we add fractions and decimals. Okay, so the first rule, if you notice up here on my board, is it's easier if you convert to either all fractions or all decimals. When you have fractions and decimals in a problem and you go to add them together like that, then it makes it difficult. If you add or if you convert to all fractions or convert to all decimals, then that will make your life easier. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show both ways. Okay, and then depending on if you convert to all decimals or all fractions, that will depend on rule two and rule three. So up here on my board, I have both ways if you convert to all fractions and all decimals. If you convert to all fractions when you go to add them, the first rule that you have to pay attention to after you convert them to all fractions is to make sure you have like denominators. Okay, if you don't have like denominators, then you can't add a fraction. To be able to add fractions, you have to have the same whole that is represented in the problem. Okay, so in a second when I get into a couple examples, that will make more sense. Okay, then the last rule that's up here on my board is if you convert to all decimals, all that you have to do with that is to line up the decimal point and then you will be able to add normally. Okay, so let's go into like a little review, which is adding decimals and adding fractions. So if I was to give you the problem, three tenths plus four tenths. Okay, so the first thing you should see in this problem is our denominators are alike. So we have like denominators. So that's going to make life easier because then all I have to do is... I will just add my numerators together, 3 plus 4 is 7, and then I'm going to just drag my denominator over. Because my denominators are alike, I don't want to add them together and get a whole different set of denominators. I've worked hard to get these like denominators, I want to keep them there. Okay, let's do another problem where we have to add fractions. If I give you the problem 35 hundredths, now I want you to add 40 hundredths. Okay, the first thing that you should see in this problem is our denominators are alike again. So that means I'm going to just add my numerators. 30 plus, 35 plus 40. Well, I know 30 plus 40 is 70, and 70 plus 5 is 75. So 35 plus 40 is 75. Then I'm just going to drag my denominator over because they're like, I don't want to change it up again. Okay, let's go into a couple examples where I have to add decimal points or decimals. Okay, so if I gave you the problem, 25 hundredths, and I want you to add 61 hundredths. Okay. You might be able to look at this problem and be able to figure out the problem, but to get the problem correct, you're going to have to put it like in vertical form, okay? So what you're going to do, I'm going to put 25 hundredths first because that's my first number. Now I'm going to add the 61 hundredths. The way you add decimals is to line up the decimal point. So based on 61 hundredths, the decimal point is going to go right underneath of the 25 hundredths. I'm just going to put 61. Okay, so I have 25 hundredths and 61 hundredths. All I did was I lined up my decimal point. Now I can add normally. 5 plus 1 is 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. Bring my decimal point down. That's all you have to do with that. Just drag it down. 0 plus 0 is 0. So my answer would be 86 hundredths. Okay, let's do one more example. If I gave you... 375,000, so I want you to add 625,000, what would you get? Again, 
just line up the problem. So I'm going to start with 375 thousandths because that was my first number. Then I'm going to line up my second number and add that way. That's a zero. My marker isn't wanting to cooperate. So now we can add this up. 5 plus 5 is 10. Put my zero there. Carry my 1. 7 plus 2 is 9. Plus this 1 is 10. 3 plus 6 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. Okay, bring your decimal point down. 0 plus 0 is 0, but I have this extra 1, so I'm just going to bring it right here. When you look at this problem, you can put your answer as 1.000, but another way you can look at this problem is this equals to 1. Okay, so I could just put equal to 1. Okay, what this is showing, it show, shows 1, and then it shows the place values of what we added over here. Okay, so it just shows you the decimal form of this number. Okay, so let's jump into today's work. Okay, so I said today we are going to work on adding decimals and fractions. Okay, I'm going to show you both ways of how to convert to all fractions and how to convert to all decimals. That way you can choose which way is easier. I will tell you a lot of times converting to the decimals is a lot easier because then all you have to do is line up the numbers and the decimal points and you can add evenly like that. If you line or if you convert to all fractions, you have that extra step of like where you have to make like denominators and that can get tricky if your denominators are a whole lot different. So let's go into an example. So if I gave you the example three tenths and I want you to add six tenths. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to convert to all fractions. That's the first way I'm going to show you. So I already have my fraction over here. I need to make this decimal into a fraction. And remember how we do the decimal form of a fraction or how we take a decimal and put it in a fraction is I'm going to put like an arrow down. I'm going to write the number that I see. So I see six right there. So I'm going to have that as my numerator. Now I'm going to have to look at how many decimal points or what des or what place value is after the decimal point. So my 6 right here is in my 10th place value. So I'm just going to put that over 10 because it's in the 10th place value. So I'm making it over 10. So my new problem would be 3 tenths plus 6 tenths. Okay. I have like denominators, so I can add my numerators together. 3 plus 6 is 9, and then carry my, or drag my denominator over, which is 10. Okay, so my answer would be 9 tenths. Okay, that is how you convert to all fractions. Let's look at another example to make sure you know how to do that. Okay, so if I gave you the example... 25 hundredths, and I want you to add, uh, let's do 30 hundredths, okay? So I'm converting to all fractions, so I'm going to keep this one the same, okay? Now I'm going to convert this decimal into the fraction, okay? So I'm going to put my number that I see, I see 30 right here. And now I'm going to figure out the place value that the last number is in after the decimal point. So I have tenths right here and hundredths. So it's going to be over a hundred. Because I put my 30, the number that I see as my numerator, and then my last place value is hundred. So I put it over a hundred. So my new problem is 25 hundredths plus 30 hundredths. Okay. I know 20 plus 30 is 50, and then plus 5 is 55. So 25 plus 30 is 55, and I'm just going to drag my denominator over. So my answer would be 55 hundredths. Okay? Let's okay, so when you convert to all fractions, all you have to do when you have all fractions in your problem is if your numer if your denominators are like, then you just add your numerators across and just drag that denominator. And then that's your answer. Let's look at when we convert to all decimals. Okay, so if I was to give you the example, let's do 
five tenths, and I want you to add, uh, let's do four tenths, okay? So if I convert to all decimals, now I'm going to keep this decimal now. Now I'm going to have to worry about this fraction and turn that into a decimal. But if you look right here, tenths is our denominator, okay? So what that tells me is I'm going to have one place value after my decimal because that place value after the decimal point is our tenths value. So what it's going to look like, I'm going to have a value after the decimal point because this number right here will be my tenths. Five is in the numerator, which means that's going to be my number that's in this place value. So I'm going to put a five right here. So 0 0.5 is the same thing as 5 tenths written as a decimal or a fraction, okay? So now I'm going to take the 0 0.5 and I'm going to add 0 0.4, okay? And I told you when you have decimals like this, this problem is easy to know the answer, but we're going to set it up into vertical form, lining up the decimal point so you know how to get this problem. I'm going to start with 5 tenths first because that's my first number. And I'm going to line up my decimal point right here and put my fourth or four tenths right there. Okay, so now I have 0.5 and 0.4. When I do 5 plus 4, that's 9. Put my decimal point right there. 0 plus 0 is 0. So my answer is 9 tenths. Okay, that would be my answer. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, so if I was to give you the example 71 hundredths, and I want to add, uh, let's do 20 hundredths, okay? If I convert to all decimals, so this decimal is fine since I'm working with decimals, I need to change this into a decimal, okay? If I look at my denominator, I have hundredths. That tells me I'm going to be two place values in the after the decimal point. Okay, so my number or my decimal is going to look like this because I'm going to be in this place value over here because I have tenths and hundredths. Okay, my 71 is my numerator, so that tells me those are the numbers that's going to come after the decimal point. So if I look right here, I have 71 hundredths, tenths, hundredths, so 71 hundredths. Okay, so I'm going to take 0 0.71 and I'm going to add 0 0.20. Okay, so I'm going to line it up. So 0 0.71 and I'm going to add the 0 0.20. 0 0.20. I lined up my decimal points and then put my numbers in there. 1 plus 0 is 1. Two, 7 plus 2 is 9. 0 plus 0 is 0. So my answer is 91 hundredths, okay? So when you add both decimals and fractions, all you have to do is make sure you have all either all fractions or all decimals. That's going to make your life easier when you go to add them. Make sure if you convert to all fractions that you have like denominators, and then you can add normally. You would add your numerators and then drag your denominator over. Or if you convert to all decimals, just line up the decimal points and then fill in your numbers and then add normally. I hope this video helped you guys. Until next time, see you later.